Grant, two tight games at Solihull, not the result you wanted last weekend, but a fantastic away win for you this afternoon. Yeah, I thought we were unlucky not to get anything last weekend. We stuck to the game plan this week, dug really deep and got a, got a three points. It's a great win. Difference was last week, missed chances and one mistake. This time, you didn't have too many chances, but when it came along, you took it. Yeah, well, the gaffer said at half time, just keep doing what we've been doing and we'll, we'll get a chance or two. And luckily, we got that and Dale's put it in, so. Just a good win, hollow lads are buzzing, three points. A lot of pressure to soak up at the end, but Henrik not required to do anything too out of the ordinary to, to keep it at 1-0. Yeah, well I thought Henrik had a real good game tonight, today. Um, obviously made a mistake for the game last week, for the goal last week. and He's really put a good shift in as, a, as of all the lads. And um, Yeah, we just really good deep. Solly are like really a team that will just lump it forward, I guess towards the end of the game and we just soaked up the pressure and dealt with it really well. And Dale, a man that you can often rely on to get your goal, he's put a real shift in today as well and done a lot of running up front on his own. Oh yeah, Dale, he's, he's quality. Sometimes he doesn't really like doing that role up top by himself but we're a bit short on strikers at the minute and he just worked his socks off but you can't fault anyone else out there on our team. I mean, it's all 8, 9s, 10s out of 10s if it works really hard. If you take out the trophy defeat, that's back to back away league wins now and that's hard to come by. Yeah, well, we, we, we did well away, away at Alfreton and then, um, like I said, we, we were unlucky last week and we, we're just glad to get back on the, on the trail this week and, and get the three points, so hopefully we can just keep it going now. We've set a bit of a target towards the end of the season when he's obviously won more than a lot than we're losing, so hit that target and hopefully be up there come the end of the season. And the one week break now can probably work one or two ways. You probably want to keep playing because you're in form, but then on the opposite side you have still got two or three injuries which could be cleared up by the time you play Stockport, so you could have some real options on the bench. Um, yeah, I think I think the gaffers give us next Saturday off, so I'm sure we'll be training in the week, but it'll, it'll be good to just get that Saturday off and just rest, because obviously we've got a few injuries, and we have had a tough run of games. We've had Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and then a few Saturdays on the bounce, and, and obviously we've got a, not, not too much of a bad Christmas period leading up, but obviously you have those tight games on the, the Saturday and the Monday over Christmas and um, Boxing Day and what have you, so hopefully that rest will do us a bit of good. How about your own form since that? November the third, uh, October the third trip to Nuneaton where you've been in midfield, you've been making long busting runs and creating chances and yeah. impressing everybody really. Yeah. Was early season being shunted around a little bit frustrating? <laughs> well yeah, obviously playing out of position at right back it's not obviously what you want but I had to do a job for the team and then the gaffer's given the responsibility to get forward a bit more and obviously Jordan's coming in and done a terrific job just holding so that's the job I used to do and he's, he's, him and Garns really allow me to get forward and we, we work really well together and I'm just pleased the gaffer's given me the responsibility and I've, I've been paid him a bit with my performances and what have you so hopefully I can just keep it going. And you're enjoying that role presumably because yeah. you seem to be thriving on the responsibility at the Yeah, moment. loving it. Just, I, I enjoy getting forward and trying to create chances for the other lads as much as I can and, and just playing, playing a part in the team really, just doing doing my best working out for the team and, and getting us in good positions. Two weeks off then and then Stockport on the 19th, your last game before Christmas, back at home which seems to have been a while, five weeks it yeah. would have been, um, and a good chance to sign off with three points before, before Christmas. Yeah, it'll be a tough game, obviously first game of the season we went away and we weren't really up to scratch with the team we had and we didn't put in a good performance so we owe them one like, like we did Solihull today and hopefully we can just keep, keep on that winning trail and just, just move up that league. When you look back at Solihull on the first day, just today show you, and last week show you the progression that you've made as a team, because Solihull were good that night, a lot better than you. Yeah, well, Stockport I think... Stockport probably deserved their win on the first day as well, but things are evening themselves up now and you're in a good position. Yeah, well, I think they've obviously been class. They've stayed unbeaten up until today through the league, and they play really good football, you can see that, but we had a game plan today, and we probably didn't have one to start the season, and we didn't have the players like we have now, we didn't have the personnel and, and the strength and depth on the bench. I know we've still got a few injuries, but I think the team on the sort of last sort of month and a half is looking a lot more like a playoff pushing team, promotion team than, than it did at the start of the season. So it's only it's only right that we've picked up points and, and we're looking like much better than, than we have been.